Hey, it's Andrew Boach with GY6Vids, and in today's video, we have a giant revolver that shoots 4570. Actually, we have two of them. <laughs> That's not a gun. These are guns. <laughs> I'm almost certain these are the guns that the Joker pulled out of his pants and shot down the Batwing with. Why didn't you tell me he had one of those things? Leave some of your favorite Jack Nicholson Joker quotes in the comment section. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. He was at home washing his tights. <laughs> so these are the BFR or Biggest Finest Revolver or Big Effin' Revolver. However you would like to call it, they both fit. This is from Biggest Finest Revolver by Magnum Research, owned by Car Firearms. These are 4570 government chambered. They also have 3030 and 450 Bushmaster and 410 and 45 Long Colt and 45 ACP and a bunch of different cylinders they make with their short cylinder and their long cylinder that you see here. Now obviously this one is about the same length as my index finger and it takes 4570 government rounds. 4570 government rounds are usually the ones you see in the Marlin 4570 lever action or other lever actions and they're a big freaking round. 10 inch barrels and these guns weigh 5.3 pounds a piece not including the ammo let's just have some fun i don't want to get too serious i don't want to get into all the technical details let's just blast away dual wielding seeing these things in action in high speed and shooting some stuff along the way about 15 yards away from the steel target three rounds in each gun let's see how accurate this is let's go one gun first da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Oops. Nice. Dual wielding is always a bit tricky because you have to close the left eye and open the right eye for the right hand. Right eye closed, left eye open for the left hand if you want to look for accuracy. If it's closer, you can kind of guesstimate your direction you're pointing, but at 15 yards, you know, you're going to have to squint a little bit and switching eyes is a bit difficult. I'm trying to wait right now to make sure I have got that in high speed. Yeah, so everything you see in high speed, I got to capture myself. Uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. Got generators, uh, light bounces, camera set up, multiple angles. The shots you see that look like are just, oh, that's just a sweet transition. That happened all in perfect timing. No, it takes a lot of moving parts to make sure to get those shots and have the proper sunlight and the proper light bounce on that shot. It's a lot of work. So thank you so much to our fan support. Links in the description. If you're liking what you see and you want to jump on board to help out GY6Vids future videos, We'd love to have you over, and we get to vote on stuff you might want to see in the future. <laughs> nice. There you go. That's better. Ooh, I pulled that one. <laughs> These will give you a bit of a trigger flinch. There it is. There it is. That's really cool. And to eject all these, God, that rings some steel. You line up the shell, push this plunger down on the side, and the shell comes right out. The lipstick container, I should say, not even a shell. Shell comes out. So that gun is clear. And then you have your trap door that opens up. These guns are single action only, which means the gun cannot go off unless that hammer is back. Single action only for those who don't know what that means. Uh, but then hammer's back, gun can go off. And the trigger on this is very crisp. For being how big this gun is and how heavy it is and how big the rounds are, being such a magnum revolver, uh, that triggers light. I mean, super, super, and it shocks you at first because you're like, ah, oh, I think I'm gonna 
give it a nice trigger pull, nah. <laughs> and no click on these. So once that trap door is open, you can spin these freely, doesn't mess anything up. But when you close it, you can half cock and get that classic. That's not really good for a gun, but oh, <laughs> it's like a crackling campfire to me. It puts me to sleep. Let's shoot something else. Let's see if I can uh, manage accuracy at the same time. It seems like it's something that wouldn't be too bad point and shoot, but when you're aiming on one, aiming on the other, and you have such a big gun, your trigger punch tends to get the better of you, but see if I can nail it. Uh, that's never getting old. So see if I can aim, aim one there, aim one there. Oh my God. Dang it. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Da -da. <laughs> Closer, one more time. Ah. The dirt's getting jacked up in the background and I'm blowing through money. These rounds aren't cheap. <laughs> Dang it. All right, really hard to have accuracy. <laughs> but I don't want to blow through <laughs> 45, 70 rounds like it's butter trying to get two bottles. How can I help you, sir? Give me all your money. <laughs> can you imagine getting knocked over by this thing? All right, one at a time now, see if I can nail it. <laughs> oh yeah. When you miss with other guns, people really don't care. But when you miss with a 4570, at least you put on a show. Good lord. <laughs> Turning this board into a canoe. Dual wielding practicalities out the window, but even when you slightly miss, you miss big and it still destroys the target. All right, shoot the last one. fun to see bottles explode. It's fun to do a wheel, but the practicality is really not there. Uh, in all reality, you're better off just using one gun and conserving ammo and making your shots count. Let's shoot something just a little bit more volatile. Yeah. This should be, uh, should be fun. do don't do this at home be safe just enjoy the video so the duct tape didn't work as I had hoped it held it down for about a tenth of a second and then just took off you can see it kind of want to hold on at the end of the high speed and hanging off that board but this is the entrance hole and that is the exit hole <laughs> oh my gosh don't mess around with propane guys it's very volatile as you can tell this is very heavy-duty duct tape and it just said Nope. Not a bad day in the office. Not a bad day. This was a whole lot of fun, but I think there's a lot of things that you're going to want to see in the future. Ballistics gel testing, long range accuracy. There's all sorts of things that can be had. Let me know the ideas you may have in the comment section, and I'm going to see if I can make that happen for you. Hope you had a blast. Hope it put a smile on your face. Hope it made your day better. Click the like button if it did. If you haven't already, subscribe to GY6Vids. Much more content coming. I'll see you soon. Later. Almost shot a hole in my camera. <laughs> I gotta watch out for you. No one's behind my camera, but I almost shot a hole through it. Recoil pulls you this way. This gun goes. Come on, plane. 
The plane, the plane. All the planes in the, in the air make the sounds. Well, <laughs> just play, but you probably could. <laughs>